Hey guys, this video is a special one because it is one I get to collaborate on with a bunch of my fellow YouTubers. Super Setman has challenged me along with other bodybuilding channels to do this comparison of the most probable top 5 at the 2024 Mr. Olympia. I do want to thank him for putting this awesome comparison together and for putting me up to the challenge and I want to ask you all who you think will come out on top. I will be using a points based system to judge this comparison with first place in each pose getting one point. The lowest amount of points at the end of this comparison wins the comparison and all the other placings follow the same principle. Who's your favorite for the 2024 Olympia? Let me know in the comments down below and let's start this video. The front double is a strong pose for all five to start with, however there are three clear front runners in this pose. I'd say that Hadi, Andrew, and Derek are the three best in this shot, and would be fighting for first place here. Samson is a close fourth and almost like a larger statured Derek. However, proportionally, his lats and arms are not that impressive, and he doesn't have incredible details or tremendous wow factor. He does do enough to beat Nick, who lands in fifth place, since Nick clearly has the worst shape lacking quad sweep and odd proportions. His arms may be the most complete and freakish, however they are the only serious impressive part of his physique in this pose. Now Derek would take a solid third place simply due to the fact that his arm separation is kind of subpar, his lats showcase those unsightly bumps, and his quads could use a bit more sweep. His overall detail is solid and the shape is immaculate, however the top two have virtually zero flaws in comparison. There is a case for him placing behind Samson, since Samson doesn't have any noticeable blemishes or imperfections, however I prefer the X-Frame and V-Taper on Derek more. I think that Hadi handily beats Derek though, especially the 2024 Arnold version, with that similarly impressive V-Taper, great conditioning, better quads, and nice proportions. He looks very good, especially in a vacuum, however nobody can touch Andrew who would handily win this pose. There isn't much explanation needed since Andrew takes Samson's structure, adds better arms, lats, and details to the midsection, and brings fullness for days. The front lat spread is easily a pose that I can narrow it down to only two competitors being Andrew and Samson. Nick can be relegated to fifth place since his structure is poorly suited for this pose, and his flow, while drastically improved in recent times, is not on par with the others. Derek is in a similar situation since he lacks outer quad sweep, doesn't have the most width upstairs but does have a tighter, more controlled midsection. Although he lacks the thickness of Nick in the chest, his silhouette is light years ahead of anything Nick can present. He isn't anywhere near Hadi though, who might be the widest guy relative to his height, has great lat coverage, massive ripped quads, and a tight midsection to match. That said, he isn't nearly as thick as the guys in the top two of this pose, and his arms could be a bit bigger to bring the proportions further into balance. Between Samson and Andrew, it is very close with Samson having a more balanced physique, while Andrew brings more wow factor and world-class lines. Samson has more complete arms and forearms, thicker, more deeply separated quads, and arguably a thicker chest as well whereas Andrew has striations all over, phenomenal roundness, better lats, and a more impressive midsection. I personally prefer Andrew here since his shape draws your eye way more than Samson's, however Samson is seriously impressive and definitely gets a solid second place. The side chest is a close shot between Samson and Hadi, with these two being in a league of their own. Nick is the closest to them though since his uniform thickness, great condition, and tremendous size are almost on par with the other two. He simply lacks that trim midsection and razor sharp detail in the side leg, however I think he does do enough to get, you know, third place. He handily beats Andrew though in my opinion who really needs to fix his posing execution of the side leg and arm. If he does that, you know, he does have the tools to even win the entire pose, being the only competitor to have that bubbly round bursting full look to the arms, the delt, and the chest, in, in, you know, even in the abs I'd say. As it is though, he would be fighting with Derek for that 4th place spot, and would probably even lose and place 5th. This sounds controversial, however Derek has some strong points that Andrew really lacks. While Derek may not have the thickness in the chest, his side leg demolishes Andrew's when it comes to the details and size relative to his body, 
and his arm, chest, and delt, while not incredibly separated, are still massive and well-developed. Derek just poses more effectively, has better proportions and balance, and looks twice as comfortable. That said, these two are very close, yet are still 4th and 5th respectively. For the win in this pose, I would say that Samson narrowly takes it. His details in the side leg are shockingly good, and the total size and thickness he carries dwarfs that of Hottie's. Hottie may have more razor-sharp conditioning, however, he lacks the density in the chest and side leg to compete with the sheer mass of Samson in this pose. These two are neck and neck, however, the almost old-school aesthetic proportions of Samson draw my attention way more than Hottie's shredded condition. The rear double is a blowout shot for Derek, no questions asked, with everyone else fighting for second place. Derek's back is the largest, most separated, and most detailed on one of the smallest frames, which gives the crazy illusion of ridiculous size and mass. His glutes are also the most shredded on that stage, and his hamstrings are pretty good as well. He may not be as good in the arms or delts as some of the other competitors, however they are not bad by any means from behind and really do tie the pose together. Second place seems like a pretty clear victory for Hottie, since he has the second thickest back, nicely developed arms and delts, thick legs, and very solid detail. He's not known for being the most shredded guy from behind, and he is lucky that nobody else matches his density while blowing him out of the water in condition simultaneously, apart from Derek, of course. Now, Nick would probably take third place here, since his back showcases great development in the traps and lats, his hamstrings are arguably the most shredded and pronounced, and his arms and delts are amazing. From behind, his shape and flow are on point, however, he could use, you know, a bit more back density to compete with the top two, especially in the lower back. Samson and Andrew both don't necessarily have weak rear doubles per se, however their backs aren't much wider than the three shorter competitors, which takes away from the wow factor their massive frames have. Samson may have less width in the lats and less impressive arms, however the dense look that he has coupled with the far more developed hamstrings and better inserted calves makes his physique look more complete than Andrew's. He's probably going to get the edge over Andrew here simply because his legs are more complete and also because their upper bodies are basically the same. Andrew really just needs more hamstrings, better condition, and additional lower back density to be a real threat in this pose. The rear lat spread is a pose which follows the same path as the last one since many of the strengths and weaknesses of each competitor carry over into this shot as well. That said, the top two flips here with Hadi taking first and Derek taking second. This is because Hadi has wider lats, a thicker lower back, and a more three-dimensional effect to his upper traps. Derek may be drier in the back, the glutes, and the hamstrings. However, the raw mass that Hadi presents is unbeatable in my opinion. With those two out of the way, I'd probably have third place maybe going to Nick for that incredibly separated, well-developed lower body. However, Samson, Andrew, and Nick are all on par when it comes to the back. This should give Nick even more of an advantage though, since he has similar width to the two taller guys, but on a smaller frame, which enhances the illusion of size for Nick. He also smokes them in the lower body, so it seems like a clear-cut third place for Nick. Now, Samson and Andrew are close once again. However, like in the last pose, I think that Samson's superior hamstring development and lower inserted calves would triumph over Andrew's faint glute detail in the lower body. Andrew does have more width in the lats, however, Samson's lower lat thickness and back density might be a little too much. This is much, much closer than in the last pose, meaning they could be interchangeable, however, I would go with Samson in 4th and Andrew in 5th. The side tricep is, in my opinion, an easy win for Hottie since he has the most razor-sharp midsection that seamlessly ties in every surrounding muscle. It's also the tightest and most controlled, which helps his case even more. He might not be the thickest from the side, however, the quality muscle separation and development are off the charts, and his proportions are near perfect. I will say that his tricep and arm in general could be bigger, however, nobody else comes close to matching his execution of the pose. Second place is close between Nick and Samson, since both present tight controlled midsections, meaty triceps, and thick, decently detailed side legs. Samson shows more intricate detail in the side leg, and has more mass there as well, whereas Nick has more separation in the midsection, the arm, and in the shoulder. I do like that thick chest on Samson and the side leg, 
However, Nick's thin skin detail is great as well. Personally, oh, you know, I would say that Samson's overall size is a bit more impressive, so maybe I would give him second and Nick third. Derek and Andrew are the least impressive though in this pose, and it is a shame for Andrew since simple posing tweaks could make all the difference in this pose. As it is, the only areas that look remotely good are his chest and delt, since his arm and side leg positioning are horrendous and his midsection isn't fully locked in. Derek makes the most of what he has, looking rather good in every area but the midsection, which almost lacks detail and looks very washed out. He is super thick though, which may allow him to outmuscle the larger Andrew, and his tricep is undeniably better. For that reason, I would give him fourth, with Andrew placing a disappointing fifth. The ab and thigh is a really interesting shot because you have both extremes on one stage. For instance, you have Andrew and Hadi, who easily have the two best, most complete ab and thighs in modern day bodybuilding, and then you have Nick, who probably delivered one of the worst shots at the 2024 New York Pro. He used to be pretty good in this shot, however, now it seems like his abs are split apart even more, his quads lack the necessary sweep and muscle, and his V-taper is non-existent due to that blocky waist and kind of mediocre lats as well. He looks so unimpressive that I would probably have to put him in 5th place right off the bat, which is sad knowing that he used to look pretty solid in this pose. In 4th place I'd probably go with Derek since he doesn't hit a crunched down version at all, which should be penalized. I'm all for hitting a vacuum, however a standard crunched down version must be hit in my opinion in order to showcase the abdominal serratus and oblique development and condition. The vacuum should be secondary, employed to showcase versatility and midsection control, kind of like what Hadi does. While he looks fantastic in the vacuum, there's no doubt about it, I really just can't reward him simply due to the abs or any of the other surrounding muscles in the midsection being present. Samson would take third place here since he presents a very nice middle ground between the five competitors. Decent abs with an alright taper, the ability to hit multiple variations of the pose, and solid, heavily separated quads. He is pretty standard in this pose, bringing nothing too crazy or offensive in the shot, which allows him to take a well-deserved third place. Between Andrew and Hadi, I'd probably say it comes down to preference. Hadi has the most well-developed midsection currently, while Andrew has a more symmetrical overall pose and similar aesthetics in the abs. My eyes are drawn to the flow, structure, and shape of Andrew though, so I would go with him, however, Hadi is great too and could easily take this pose as well. The most muscular is a hard pose to judge since they all don't hit the same variation at the same time, so I'm just going to replay the video so you can repeatedly see the different types of the most muscular. Starting off with Derek, he looks to be the most mediocre when it comes to this pose, since he lacks the chest striations that the other competitors all have. He also doesn't have any positive traits that stand out, only really presenting decent size and shape. The other competitors also have good size and shape as well, while simultaneously presenting a standout attribute, so therefore I would have to give Derek fifth. In fourth, I would go with Andrew, since although he has the best aesthetics in the callout, crazy detail and fullness, and a bursting full thin skin look to his muscles, he lacks total thickness to really fill the pose out. His small forearms make his arms look a bit stringy, and he could really use more tricep sweep, delt roundness, and forearm size to make this a top tier shot. Now don't get me wrong, alone he looks like Mr. Olympia solely based on that flow and shape, however the other guys ahead of him have more density in the areas that count. In third place I would go with Samson who brings what Andrew has but with more muscle and size. He does lack that bursting full look of Andrew, however the details, thickness, and sheer mass he carries are all very good. He may be huge, however he doesn't really have a freak factor element in this pose, which is why I think he would place third. In second is the freakiest of them all, being the mutant Nick Walker. He has so much freak factor when you look at those cannonball delts, massive arms, and legs filled with veins and details all over. The wide waist and mediocre quad sweep aren't as noticeable considering all the craziness going on within his physique, and I think he easily does enough to defeat the aforementioned competitors. Lastly is Hadi, who has the best muscle quality out of anyone in this comparison from the front. His chest is cross-strided all over, his arms and delts come to life in this pose, his midsection stays tight and controlled, and his quads are absolutely massive tree trunks. The level of detail he manages to present on his physique is just another level of freak factor, and the combination of the shape and the muscle he carries 
really tops this pose all off, leading to a win for first place for Hadi in this pose. Anyways guys, that's it for this comparison. To tally the points up, I had Hadi winning this comparison with 14 points, Samson in second with 23, Nick in third with 26, and Derek and Andrew tied with 27. While I think that Hadi objectively won this comparison, and I'm sure many of you will agree with that, there were some poses where the decision was so close that it came down to preference, so keep that in mind with these results. I'm sure that Andrew and Nick will be really close this year at the Olympia, and I'm also sure that Derek will be far better than last year. Remember, everyone else has improved drastically since last year's Olympia, whereas Derek has yet to reveal his changes on stage. With that said, this was all just my opinion, and feel free to let me know yours in the comments. If you enjoyed this collaboration with Super Setman, let me know as well in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.